Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite topics. It's actually the topic that inspired my very first YouTube video many months ago and I'm really excited to bring it back up and talk about it in a more systematic way. So today we're going to be talking about inspiration. Where and how do you find inspiration for your personal style? And I hope to introduce some places that, well, you probably already know, but some places that you may not have thought about. So ways to be creative, um, to find new inspiration, and just to continually find beauty in the world around us and let that inspire us and feed into our personal style and our capsule wardrobes. I do wanna ask that if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so it would mean so much to me as a matter of fact just a couple of hours ago I checked my YouTube channel and I hit 4,000 subscribers and I want to thank you all so much it's thanks to you that this is just working and that we're building this community online so it means the absolute world to me you have no idea so thank you so so much please give this video a thumbs up if you like content like this and would like to see more of it in the future it really helps me gauge what kind of videos you all enjoy the most. I also have my Instagram up on the screen if you want to follow me over there and expand this online community. I've also linked it down below, so definitely go over there and give me a follow. Comment down below your favorite place to get inspiration, and also comment down below how you feel about the audio in this video. I am testing out a brand new microphone today, and I wanna be sure that it is making a difference for you all because sometimes I can't quite tell. So please let me know what you think, and let's go ahead and get started. So in order to go about this in an organized way, I've broken this up into about seven categories that we can use to divide up the different places and the different ways that we can get inspiration. Before we get into the specifics, I do wanna say that what I consider inspiration is really anything that you like, enjoy, and essentially find beautiful and like to look at or like to be around. I personally believe that you can find inspiration from anywhere. So whether that's like a loaf of bread or a beautiful flower or a cat or like a scene from your favorite childhood book, I think that all of those things can inspire us in different ways. And not only inspire us, but I think that they can also bleed into our personal style. Because when you think about it, personal style, as opposed to fashion, really embodies the essence of who you are. That's what you want your clothes to represent. And so if you ask yourself the questions like, why do I like this? Why am I drawn to it? And how does this make me feel? You can break down the essential design elements that contribute to your own personal identity and to your style identity as well. So that's just something to keep in mind as we go through these different areas where you can find inspiration. So the first place is a very obvious one and it's probably the one that I go to first when I don't want to think too hard about anything and I just kind of want to be shown um, beautiful things and that is social media. So that can be anything from Instagram and Pinterest to things like TikTok, Reels on Instagram and YouTube. So even video sources as well as picture sources are a really great place to find inspiration. I know that I certainly find a lot of inspiration on those sources. I keep a fashion board on my Instagram. I have several capsule wardrobe boards over on Pinterest. And what it does is it helps me keep an unfiltered book, virtual book of the things that I like, things that just catch my attention. So when I'm pinning or when I'm saving, I try not to think about it too hard. I try to go with my gut feeling, my gut reaction about a certain thing. And then when I go back and I kind of curate it a little bit, I can say, oh, okay, this actually does contribute to my personal style. Whereas this doesn't, it was something that I just kind of saved on a whim. But it's a really good place to just get some immediate inspiration. Of course, we all have our favorite YouTube, Instagram, Instagram, TikTok, um, people that we follow. So definitely lean into those. It's a great place, like I said, to find quick inspiration when you aren't really sure where else to go. It's also a very concrete source. So it's easy to get to these things. It's easy to save items on these platforms. And that makes it really easy to find inspiration. There are also search engines and hashtags. So those kinds of things can really help you if you want to apply some kind of genre or label to your personal style. You can use that as a search term to help you discover even more creators that really, really inspire you. 
So the next one is kind of along the same lines, but taking a little bit of a different direction. So social media is a great place for this. Like I said, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Pinterest especially are all good for this. But rather than finding outfit inspiration from your favorite influencers or your favorite creators, this is all about making a miscellaneous inspiration section or board on these platforms. This is also a really great place to create kind of this uncurated list of things that you just instantaneously find beautiful. And so when I say miscellaneous inspiration, I mean literally anything. I personally keep a board both on Pinterest and I keep a uh, save section on my Instagram full of miscellaneous inspiration. So this is anything from art to architecture to nature to movie stills which i'll get into later to random photos of tea and food uh china anything that you find aesthetically pleasing should go in these sections and these are really great ways to feel inspired if you ask yourself why is it that i find these things so pleasing why is it that i find these things so beautiful you can break it up into design elements like colors textures the kind of emotions and feelings that those pictures give you and try to work them into your own personal style so this kind of miscellaneous section is something i really really love to find inspiration in and i almost tend to go there before i go to the fashion inspiration because i think it gives me a little bit more creative freedom than the others do the next place that you can find inspiration is from interior design. So whether this is your own Pinterest boards or save options of interior design photos or um, things that you are working towards in your own home or apartment or wherever it is that you dwell, or this is the current state of your living space already, interior design is a really great place to find personal style inspiration. And the reason for this is that design elements can cross genre boundaries. So things that are minimalist in your home also reflect the same kind of minimalist style. Things that are bohemian or nature inspired in your home can also cross over into this kind of nature bohemian inspired fashion. So looking at things like colors, textures, the use of natural fibers, the use of clean lines, the use of organic lines, all of those things can contribute to what your space says about you, what you want your space to say about you, as well as what you want your personal style to say about you. There's a reason why this feels like this and this feels like this and this feels like this. There are so many design elements that cross over and work together. So it's very likely that the way that you decorate your home or the way that you want to decorate your home is pretty in line with the way that you dress or the way that you want to dress. The next one is one of my favorites, and it is film and TV shows. I love getting inspiration from movie stills or from TV show stills, especially period dramas or any kind of show that is set in a different time period. I really love those because I get a lot of inspiration from vintage wear, and so that really reflects in the kinds of things that I consume daily. Some of my personal favorites, and you've heard me talk about them already, are the new Little Women movie. I think the costuming is just stunning. The latest Emma movie is also fantastic, Pride and Prejudice, but also classics like The Breakfast Club and musicals like The Sound of Music, Singing in the Rain, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. All of those things were really influential in my childhood, and so they continue to inspire me today. And if you're interested in having that broken down a little bit, my very very first YouTube video is where I talked about that in detail, so definitely go check it out. I'll link it above. This is also a place where you can ask yourself, how does this make me feel? What kind of colors are present? What kind of um, lines and emphases are present? Is there a lot of waist emphasis? Is there a lot of shoulder emphasis? How can I work that into my own personal style? As you've probably already noticed, many of the same questions apply to all of these different places or categories of inspiration. Kind of going in line with this is music and musicians. So depending on the kind of music you like to listen to, it might be very vintage inspired. And so you might find a lot of inspiration in the musicians like concert costumes or just their daily wear. That is something that I think is a lot of fun. But also this is a little bit abstract, so bear with me. I think that we can find a lot of inspiration even in just instrumental music, just asking ourselves like, how does this make me feel? 
how can I reflect that in the clothes that I wear so that I can embody that feeling in my own self? So if a song makes you want to dance, maybe you should be wearing clothes that make you want to dance. If you are listening to songs that make you joyful and happy, you should probably be reflecting that in your personal style in some way. Now, of course, there are always going to be discrepancies. Just because I like classical music doesn't mean I want to dress like Mozart. So there are just definitely some things to keep in mind. Take this with a grain of salt, but let it inspire you and don't be afraid to try to achieve that feeling in the way that you dress yourself daily. The next one is kind of silly, but also kind of fun. And this is in childhood photos of yourself. And this is especially true, I think, in my own life because I used to play dress up so, so much when I was a kid. And so looking at those kinds of pictures and looking at the things that I wore, you know, your parents dress you when you're a kid, but looking at the things you wore when you had a chance to dress yourself or when you were able to play dress up or something like that, you can answer the question, what was I drawn to and why was I drawn to it? And kind of take a look at your personal style evolution. And I'm convinced that we really don't change as much as we think that we do. So if you do pinpoint your style evolution, you can see what kind of things I liked then and ask yourself, do I like the same kind of things now? And let your childhood self inspire your personal style for your adult self. And the last one is you let yourself be an inspiration for your personal style and ultimately that's kind of what all of this gets to but i think taking some time for yourself setting aside an hour or two even um, putting on your favorite tv show or your favorite youtuber watching some of my videos and going into your closet and playing dress up with the things that you own and just really documenting the outfits that you like taking pictures of those asking yourself how that outfit makes you feel does it make you feel comfortable? Does it make you feel excited? Does it make you feel confident? And playing dress up and finding new combinations, even as adults, we should be playing dress up. So this is a really great way to, again, renew our inspiration for the pieces that we already have. I think this is a really fun one and it's something that I do myself and it's a great way to find new outfit combinations. At the end of the day, I think that finding sources for inspiration and finding new sources for inspiration can be the ticket that we need to refresh or renew the pieces that we've had for a while. So rather than going out and buying new pieces, finding new sources of inspiration and let those things power your personal style is a great way to approach your capsule wardrobe without having to add in a bunch of items. It also reminds us that personal style is extremely creative and extremely subjective. So any of the places that you find inspiration can be so, so specific to you. And that is what's so special about the difference between fashion and style. Rather than letting somebody else dictate what the trends are, what the norms are, personal style allows you to dictate what inspires you, what makes you feel good, and how you want to dress every single day. So take some time to get inspired this week or the next or whenever. Find some free time, find some inspiration, and let that infuse itself into your own personal style journey. I promise you won't regret it. So that's that for today's video. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. It's been a pleasure to share this with you. I've been thinking about this video and mulling over it for probably a couple of months, but just wasn't quite sure how to approach it without being too abstract or having things that are hard to grasp. So I really hope that it was helpful to you and that you take a moment to be inspired today, tomorrow, and the days that follow. Once again, I wanna please ask you to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and really like inspiration videos. I know these are so fun for me because I get to share some of my inspirations with you and that's so, so exciting. Comment down below what your primary source of inspiration is and don't forget to comment about the audio Audio, just to let me know if it works for you, if it sounds good, so I can be sure whether to keep this mic or keep looking for another one. I have also put my Instagram up on the screen so that you can follow me over there if you would like to see outfit inspiration or just, you know, get to know me a little bit better. I post on my stories several times a week, so it's just another way to extend this online community. I've also linked my profile in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. It's been an absolute pleasure pleasure to spend this time with you today. I can't wait to see you in the next video and I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Thanks for watching. Bye!